This week, we battle storms for bourbon and fried chicken while we make our way to North Carolina. Thank you to Storyteller Overland for sponsoring this video. Well, the weather is as expected for the start of our adventure to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, we'll see what happens. At least it's not raining at the moment. <laughs> we got a break in the rain so we can hit the road. We're not bringing the motorcycle as expected. If you didn't know I was going to, check out the last video and we'll show you that. And it's one of those things where you just got to roll with the punches, figure it out. And I think that's what this trip is going to be all about. And as we know, weather forecasts can be wrong. So who knows? It could be nice and sunny once we get out there. This is true. We do have a few stops that I would like to make <laughs> along the way, but I'll keep an eye on the weather and we'll see where we stop first. Yeah, I just heard some uh, thunder rolling in, so it begins. 400 miles to the Blue Ridge Parkway. <laughs> Trace Distillery because they release a special bottle every day and you don't know what it's going to be. But today's is going to be Blanton's. Let's hope they still have some. Typical Blanton's day, there's a line. Got our goodies and here's a little bit of trivia all the liquor they sell here actually leaves the distillery goes to the distributor and it has to come back here to be sold they can't sell it directly from the distillery joe and i have taken pretty much every tour offered at buffalo trace they're well worth it highly recommend it and the best part is they are free and some of them are dog friendly and kid friendly So on the quest for perfect health, after we pick up bourbon, we are headed to the KFC Museum and Restaurant. So, we went in Kentucky to fried chicken and bourbon. All right, so we have answered the age old question. What came first, the chicken? or the egg. Well, the hard boiled eggs came first on the drive here to kind of settle our hunger. <laughs> and now we're gonna go get fried chicken and uh, we'll also check out the museum. So let's go see the museum, but get us a bucket.
that was a very satisfying meal. I was just thinking back to the last time I had KFC, which was in 2007. So it's been a while. I had KFC when we were in Thailand last year, but it wasn't nearly as good as the place here. I will say the best KFC I've ever had was in China. They they did it right. Now, if any of y'all have had KFC in other parts of the world, let us know down in the comments below what you thought. Where is your favorite? Now that we have stomachs full of chicken and eggs, the eggs got there first, we're gonna head back onto the road. We have one more stop that I think we're gonna hit up before we get to the campground this evening. I've gotta find a stop for coffee, so I think we have an interesting place in mind. 300 or 200, 200 plus miles left. Yeah, I don't know if I can go that long without coffee though. <laughs> That's refreshing after that chicken. And it's good. Okay. Let's go. Glasses? Oh yeah, that would help. <laughs> there we go, now I can see. Well, we had originally planned on stopping at Bucky's, but there was at least a mile long, or half a mile long line just to get off the highway, and on both sides. And we just didn't want to deal with that. So we're gonna pull over at a Love's or whatever truck stop is on this exit, and I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm starting to get a little uh, grumpy. You know how some people get hangry? I get coffee green. That. <laughs> sustenance in hand we are off on our final leg of this fairly short journey and at the moment the weather is fantastic it is hot out but it's sunny and clear our final destination which is Mount Pisgah campground it's right on the Blue Ridge Parkway it is absolutely gorgeous up here the weather is still nice friends of ours who got in last night said they've only had a drizzle of rain today and the two guys I was supposed to go riding with both brought their motorcycles so if they go riding while I'm here I told Kate my heart's just gonna break um, but I still think based on the weather reports, it's going to thunderstorm pretty bad here. So I think I made a wise choice. I definitely would not have wanted to have ridden here in the rain and storms that we had, but we're going to enjoy our time at the campground. And if it is raining, we might go into town and explore, go to some breweries, see what good food options they have and that sort of thing. But that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and head on over to our website, wertherussos.com. If you want to get more information on a lot of the places we camp, you can go state by state and see a lot of the cool places that we've been. But that is it. See you next time. Bye. My second book, Tales from the Open Road, The Adventures and Misadventures of RV Living, is now available for sale on Amazon. Read all about the ups and downs of our first year and a half living on the road full time.